Hello guys and welcome to another short tutorial, this is Yagura's Moments and on this video I'm gonna show you how to adjust your actuation on your new Steel Series Apex Pro. Let's start! Alright, so the first quick way to enter our actuation settings and change them is from the keyboard menu itself. In order to access the menu on our keyboard, we hold the menu button below the roller for 3 seconds. And now we are on the settings. We can go down with the roller and you'll find the actuation settings. Click the roller to enter the actuation settings and here you can set up the sensitivity of your actuation very fast. With one being the most sensitive and the keys are actuating immediately when you press them and with 10 being the slowest as you will need to bottom your keys to actuate. But there is even better way to change your actuation and this is from the program that we can download from the Steel Series website. There you can create profiles and save your actuation per profile or even change your actuation per key. Let's go check it out. Once you installed a load application, go to the engine, then to the gear and select the Apex Pro. Here on the top left you can select and edit your profiles. For example, I have created different profiles depending on what I do, like editing, gaming, writing. And there I have set up different actuation on each profile. Just to make clear, you can select and adjust the 61 keys that you see selected right now, not the whole keyboard. The rest of the keyboard are still series red switches and not Omnipoint adjustable switches. So you can select which keys you want to change the actuation, it can be all the keys or some of them, or even set up per key actuation. You can write the number here on the field of the actuation that you want, or just grab that and change the actuation. By holding the control button you can select more than one key. So for example if I want to select my WASD I'm holding the control button and select them. As I want them for gaming I can put them to one actuation so they will be very fast. Actually for my whole gaming profile I have put all my keys to actuation 1 except the G because with the G I'm using it to throw a grenade so I put it to 5 not to have any accident. Also check my profiles, I have created different profiles depending on what I do. For example for writing, because I like to bottom my keys on writing, I have put all my actuation to 10. The other one is for editing, where I just put everything to actuation 5. And for gaming, as we said before, I put the actuation to 1, except the G. And I'm also thinking to put WASD to actuation 5 as well, because sometimes I'm pressing them accidentally when I have my fingers just on top of my keyboard, so I think on 5 it's gonna be much better. And if you messed up and you want to reset your actuation, there is a button there which says reset. So just press that and start tweaking from the start. You can also reset to factory settings the whole keyboard and this can be done from the OLED display settings on the keyboard. Just enter the settings, go down, down where it says factory reset. Just have in mind that this will delete all the settings, not just actuation, but illumination, key bindings, profile, everything that you have created. Alright guys, if you find this video useful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And you can check some of my other videos right here.